Okay, welcome to our Learn to Crochet um, course for beginners. So we are going to be working on a granny square, but as we go, we're going to do some little snippets of videos to support you. So first of all, what's in my craft bag? Well, obviously mine's a little bit different to yours. I've just grabbed out the, the bare essentials for what I need. I am going to be working on chunky wool, so my hook is going to look slightly different to yours because it's a thicker wool. If you've read the booklet, you'll, not, you'll understand why. But we can go through that later. So that's not a big deal. So at the moment, I don't think I've put a tape measure in your um, kit. But this is something handy to have anyway. And like mine, you can get novelty ones. You can get um, cheaper looking ones like this one here, which has just fallen on the floor. Let me just pick it up. Here we go. So you can get ones like this. They're always handy for when you're doing your gauge because obviously you need to measure it. You can use just a standard ruler if needs be. It's not an issue. So that's my little bits there stitch markers these are always good for when you've made items or in the midst of making an item and you just need to lock down the stitch so it can't pull out when you're grabbing things out of your craft bag or as a way of marking how many stitches you've done or keeping count so there's lots of usages for stitch markers these are just plain simple ones they're quite cheap to get you can get a bag of 500 off ebay for next to nothing um, or you can have novelty ones. I do make them. So I make all kinds of different things. I haven't got any to hand right now, but they're really good to have as well. This was something that came free with a magazine, um, but you can buy these with cutters in. I do have them as well, but this is just something that's really handy. Um, it's a hook gauge. So should you struggle to find you've bought a hook or and it doesn't have the numbers on, you can just look at how the, ho the hook fits into. Now, the hook size is determined not by the tip here, but by the shaft here, because this is what's going to determine the, the, the height of your loops or the size of your loops. So it's not a five and a half because we can see we can't get that, sorry, we can't get that nib through there. So let's go for a six. So it's a little bit too small for the size six, but the six and a half, it works perfectly. Um, I'm trying to think if I put, I've made this one. So I think this is one of the, the ones I didn't put a number on because it's my own personal use. So there you go, it's a six and a half, and that's how you measure the hook. <clears throat> like I said, that came free with the magazine, but you can buy them. We do have them in our shop as well. Um, so that's the hook. Then obviously a good pair of scissors. Now you can use any scissors to cut wool, but a good pair of scissors is always worth the investment, personally. Um, oh, I've lost focus. There we go. And a wool needle. Now, these are my preferences, these ones here with the nylon loop. They are brilliant because it doesn't matter what size of wool you use. It's so easy to just pull your wool through. You can open it up like so, and you can just pull it through with ease like so. And then you can tighten it up, close it down and tighten it up so it holds the wool like so. They're really, really good, and you can get these in different sizes. We do put you a kit, um, these into your kit, so you do have different sizes, like so. And you can see that you've got a different thickness of needle there. The loops stay the same, but it depends on the wool and the mag that you're using. This one's a little bit shorter, so it's good for getting. It's quite more. It's a little bit more nimble. And um, if you're making big makes and you need something with a bit more sturdiness to it and a bit more length, and that's great as well. So that's what you're going to get in your kit if you buy our workshop in a box kit. <clears throat> so that's what's in my craft bag. The next thing to really talk about is how to hold your wool and how to hold your hook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video here and then we're going to start on a new video for how to hold your wool and hook. 